What's the crack lads? Welcome back to Japanese Epic Players. These are, in my opinion, three unbelievable players. If you do spin them, is it going to be worth it to spin or not? That is up to ye. That is your money. But I genuinely think they are monsters, man. Genuinely, right? So we are going to kick off with this video and we're going to take a look at Nakamura, Inamoto and Ito. Now I have Ito. I have his other edition. We'll get to that in a second. But obviously for these, we are going to be just looking at the three players. Now you do have a chance, if you are a newcomer, you have a chance of basically getting these three players in the box. Now if you clear the box, which costs 150 uh, you know, spins, obviously you're going to have a better chance of getting them. But it's up to you guys. I mean, that's completely up to you. Now if you are looking for a kind of a medium to end game uh, player... I definitely think any of these three can be beasts. Ito Man is one of the best dribblers in the game. Only let down, I think, by his tight possession, which we'll get to in a second. But we are going to kick off with Ito. He's been one of my favorite players to play with. I've been playing with Matoma on the left from Brighton and Ito on the right. And they've just been monsters for me on the wing. They're just fun to play with, man. That's kind of it. Now, I did buy the Ito Japanese premium pack. Um, this guy does differ a little bit. Number one, he only has 29 levels compared to the Ito pack. Uh, the Japanese pack that was available but look at his stats man you've got double touch you've got soul control you've also got dip in shot and long range curler heel trick which I like double touch and heel trick two of the best most overpowered tricks to use I have tutorials up on them on the channel if you want to check them out but this guy even as a winger he also has first time shot and true passing and pinpoint crossing so because he does have early crosser as his play style and pinpoint crossing you've got the perfect mix that you can play him right wing or right mid, right? So if you are going to be picking this player, obviously you want to play him as a right mid, or if you are crossing the ball in a lot or taking on opponents, you want to play him as a right wing, or else kind of somewhere as, as a halfway house, as you're going to play him as both. You have every player skill at your disposal here. It just depends on how you train him. So we have got two versions of him uh, that we are going to be looking at over on eFootball DB. The first one is your traditional winger. Now, I will have a video out very soon, I keep saying it, but I'm going to be talking about one of probably the most important things in the game at the moment going forward with the ball. If you are looking to improve your game, the choice between starting with a winger or starting with a right midfielder. So what is the difference between the roles, the playing styles, the stats, what you should be upgrading and not? There's a helicopter outside my window. I don't know what's going on, but it's really loud. I hope you guys can't hear it. But anyway, we'll keep going, right? So this guy goes 29 levels. We boosted him up on this version of him. This is your traditional speed first winger. Taking on players, skills, tricks, you know, touching goes, overlaps, all that sort of stuff, right? Cutting in and shooting, cutting in and passing across the box. Cutting in with one-touch dribbles, one-touch shots, tricks. We've got four into passing just to keep him honest there with the passing. 11 into dribbling and dexterity and then seven into lower body. He only has 56 progression points to actually, you know, use. So that's going to be something that we will look at later on if we are going to be training him up a slightly different way. But look at the stats, man, right? We've got 98 acceleration and 90 speed. We've also got lovely balance and stamina, 86 and 87, and then 88 dribbling. He's slightly let down by his tight possession. That is an issue with this card, and it is an issue with his player in general, no matter what version that you use, right? This is the version I have, and he still has, like, low tight possession, no matter how much you train it up. He's got 57 levels to go, but he does not ever get to that really, like, really high tight possession, because you need to pump in so much. Like, you're 14 points into dribbling there. You're going to have all the stats into dribbling. I think this version of him is definitely better, but I do like this version as well um, if you do spin him. Now, this is the second version of him. He's still a 91 overall, right? He's got slightly modified stats. We've kind of pumped in a couple into shooting. Because of that long-range curler, you don't need to have massively high finishing uh, style or finishing stats, but you can get that in if you want to, right? So we have decided to kind of train him up and just max out the tight possession as much as we possibly can. And then obviously just be able to kind of boost up the rest. You've still got 90 speed, 87 stamina, but you're taking a slight hit on the acceleration, the balance, and the offensive awareness. So if you're using this player, I would definitely be cutting into shoot. If you don't shoot a lot, you can just pump that into passing. Same thing. And you'll just be passing a lot, crossing a lot, pinpoint crossing, whatever, if you don't shoot a lot. Next up, we have got an absolute legend, Nakamura. So this guy, obviously, 
35 years of age what a player one of the best free kick takers ever i would say in the history of the game and he does turn into a bit of a monster as well he's got 39 levels to go and straight off the rip you don't need to touch his set piece taken his free kicks and his curl is extraordinary at 91 and 90 for his base level um you've also got 80 kicking power so you know you're going to be in good hands if you do get on the ball with him he can probably rival beckham and ward pros as the two best um as the two other best free kick takers in the game right so looking at his player skills double touch dip and shot long range curler rise and shot long range shooting weighted pass so what are you going to be doing with this guy if you do spin him are you going to be turning him into kind of like a speed uh kind of attack midfielder or are you going to be using him as a long range kind of sniper and i would say that i would go with the latter because i definitely think that nakamura is a guy that you have to be shooting with there's a few players like that messi is one um any of the strikers that are slow you need to be able to be good at shooting you need to be able to curl shots in you need to be using the skills that these guys have and play them to their strengths right now we also had a couple of additions here of him like celtic or whatever but i think that this card has got a lot of potential because he's got more ratings here to go he's got more player levels can go up to 39 levels which gives you 76 progression points so we've trained him up this way i'll do a slight modification on him if you don't shoot a lot but i think that this card if you do get him i definitely think it's a disservice if you don't use him the way he should be used that's just my opinion but he's got 88 kicking power 80 balance 82 offensive awareness four into shooting 10 into passing 11 into dribbling and dexterity and then eight into lower body right so we're going to have 90 tight possession which is a very key stat now in v2.4 gameplay lofted pass low pass really good high 80s low 90s and then the place kicking and the curl is going to be beautiful at that as well but we've still got the ball control and the offensive awareness dribbling and acceleration and speed isn't too bad right now if you do want to make a slight modification to him you could obviously get away with just leaving him at his base leave maybe upgrade that one and then I would say maybe take away the dribbling slightly. You don't need that as much if you are going to be playing him. Or sorry, pump up the dribbling a little bit more to get that tight possession up to 91. Because you don't need to shoot. And if you want to have him as a kind of like a hole player, right? So yeah, that's definitely a guy uh, as well to keep an eye on. And then last in this, we do have Inamota, who is going to probably be the most... Um, under kind of like appreciated of the tree here. But I think he could be the best, right? first of all you've got interception and blocker check you have them on player skills you've also got true pass and one touch pass way to pass low loft to pass and fighting spirit which means you don't need to spend that many points or progression points on training up his passing because you will be able to get all those player skills as his role as an anchorman his player skills will kick in and be able to kind of like leave you play um him in a very very defensive manner without having to spend that many player skill or player stats upgrades on his that on his stats because of the player skills right so when we go over to him here he also has interception and blocker as i said and fighting spirit but when we go over to him here we have 31 levels to go we've trained him up we've got a beastly beastly player here and then once we have his base right down here we have our passing we have our dribbling we have everything kind of at a fairly decent level i put the dribbling up to 70 there and then we have our lower body we can decide whether we want to go speed or we want to go more defense so it's up to you guys i would probably go that way to get his defensive engagement tackling and aggression up as high as possible his stamina his speed his acceleration are all pretty decent for an anchorman and you're going to be sitting him in the hole similar to how you'd play makalele how you play rodri fabinho which are very dominant players at the moment so yeah that is it for me lads do i recommend these it's hard to recommend them um because obviously they cost money but yeah i already have ito I would like Inamoto, but I'm probably not going to spin, spin for him um, because I have Vieira Makalele. But if you are looking for an endgame DMF, this guy could be it. Uh, a really good AMF option and an excellent winger. They are good choices, but it's probably, you know, it's up to you guys whether you do that or not. Um, but that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon with another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this deep dive into these three players and we'll be back soon. Peace.